What's up guys? I'm up in an attic right now and I'm going to show you um, how to how to check and test gas pressure using a manometer. Uh, well, today I'll be uh, doing it on a ream furnace. So um, the first steps is coming up. Alright, so I'm going to be using a field piece manometer. Um, this is the actual manometer with a pressure switch tester. And if y'all would like to see a video explaining how to use it, just let me know. And uh, I'll be more than happy to make one for you. All right, so straight out of the bag, this is our manometer that I'm gonna be using. Then you'll also need the uh, the hose that's gonna go and attach to the gas valve. And what you'll also need is an Allen pack. And also really comes in handy, one of these uh, small um, channel locks from Crescent. They're great, they work perfectly for these uh, gas valves. So I'll show you uh, where to start. Alright, so with these reams, your um, outlet pressure is what you want to test to uh, make sure you're at the right um, water column. So it, it takes a uh, 3 16 Allen wrench, and it's going to be that uh, screw that's set in right there. You're just going to have to um, undo it. Also, you want to make sure your power's turned off, and you also go ahead and turn the gas off for this part too. Alright, <clears throat> after you have that off, you're going to want to um, get your tube with your connector on the end of it and you're going to get it started. Right in there. And then we'll get our, our crescent wrench and finish tightening it down. Alright. We're all finished with that, tightening it down, and you definitely want to make sure that it's in there very well. Um, not saying to wrench it down until it cracks or anything, but just make sure that it's really good and uh, snug in there, because you definitely don't want any gas leaking out. That would be a very big disaster. So just make sure it's in there good, and you'll be you'll be fine. All right, and then go ahead and get the end of your tube that's coming off this, and put it into P1. And pretty much all um, manometers, not just field piece, will have P1, P2, and you'll use always use P1 for uh, testing the outlet pressure. Okay, and after that's finished, um, you have a, a screw right here. This flat flathead uh, screw, or more of a cap. You undo it, and down below that, you'll also use your screwdriver to turn left or right to adjust the gas pressure up and down. So go ahead and take that off. And then you can see right here on the gas valve, uh, most gas valves tell you what the recommended wa uh, water column is. And you can see right here that this one is saying 3.5 inches of water column is what uh, they're asking for. So that's what we're going to try to make sure it gets to. So I got the cap off the top and uh, we'll go ahead and start the furnace up. And once we see it needs adjustments, we'll place our screwdriver uh, in that spot. And you can see it's just a flathead uh, slot that right there. So any flathead will work as long as it's not a really long one that won't fit in between the cap right there and the inducer motor. Okay, so turn your gas back on. Some people don't even turn the gas off, which you know, I mean you could probably get a, get away with it. It's fine, but this is just what I'm recommending to do. All right, we got it uh, started up. You want to go ahead and turn. Um, Turn on your manometer. Go ahead and zero it out before it starts. All right. And we'll wait for everything to kick on and see what the pressures look like. Okay, so this one is reading a little high. It's 4.15 and we want to be no more than 3.5 on this. So with your screwdriver, you want to turn it to the left and it'll start bringing that bringing that down and you just very slowly want to crank it left just go just a hair and then watch and see what it adjusts to
Okay, so we've got it to just a couple points below 3.5, which is fine. If it's, you know, five points to the bad or good, you're really close, and there's no reason to try to keep um, going back and forth trying to get it dead on. So 3.48 is, is perfect. All right, so after you're done with that, go ahead and first thing is turn your furnace off. Go ahead and turn it off and then turn your gas off. So after you've turned everything off, make sure the gas and the power is off. Uh, you can go ahead and undo our attachment and put our uh, plug back in place. And you can also go ahead uh, and put your cap over the top of this adjustment screw. And you want to make sure that plug is in there very well, um, very tight. And you can also run a little bit of pop dope around the threads of that plug before you put it back in just to be extra safe if it doesn't have uh, the pop dope still around the, the um, around it from, from the factory. Sometimes you can just reuse what's on there, but um, I would tell you just to go ahead and re-pop dope it just to be safe. I also have my uh, cap back on over the, uh, the set screw. So after you've done all that, you are back like you was before. You have your gas pressure set perfectly. So that's, that's about it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hope you learned something from it. Hope you're able to go out and use your manometers now. Um, and there's also different things you can use your manometers for like, um, you know, testing your static pressures, stuff like that. So we'll be doing videos like that in the future, but hope, uh, hope you all enjoyed and uh, please like and subscribe. See you next time.